What's up guys? Here we are back on Bedford County map. Um, just leased a miner spreader here. Uh, we have the manual attaching mod installed. So we're going to bring this back to the farm. Uh, we have some solid manure um, that we're going to use. Turn on our beacons and blinkers as we get on the road here. So this is um, the 755E. Um, it's the smallest of the 700s. Uh, but we should be able to uh, handle our spreader uh, with this. So we bought a few dairy cow. Um, yeah, we have 202 dairy cows right now. Uh, and then we're just putting down some manure that we're going to till back in. We have some standing corn. We'll probably uh, chop that for silage. Anyways, um, I finally uh, got my uh, John Deere loader in game. Uh, it's almost been almost been two years. It's been one year and like eleven months since I started that project. It's not completely finished yet. The model itself is probably 80%. Uh, but I figured um, might as well just in-game it and use it. <laughs> and then I'll be motivated to finish up. Finish up the model at a later date. We actually have our trailer over here. I was going to move some manure, but... Figured I could get away with... See if we could set up a GPS here. So we have our Freightliner and Schmeiser over there. I was going to transport it, the manure, to the field, but since we're so close, might as well just put it right into the manure spreader itself. So this is what I was talking about. This is the latest uh, model I've been working on. The model itself is about 80%. The interior still needs some work. Um, the framing still needs some work. Uh, I need a... Uh, make the radiator and fan uh, it has no normal maps on it right now and only the bucket wheels and um, frame are uh, manually UV seamed the cabin and cabin interior is just kind of a auto UV map so um, it's not the greatest right now but at least I get to use it after been working on it for so long so the interior still needs some work added a few little decals uh, we got some mirrors um, but yeah it's a work in progress the model itself is like I said 80% uh, put the lights in uh, scripted the loader um, yeah, these textures, I never separated, so they had, there's some darkness. Uh, but the bucket detaches. Um, I mainly uh, built the 70, 744. 
um, for logging operations to put a larger logging grapple so you can handle handle logs better. So it has a little bit of a swivel in front. Still testing the spring and dampener on that when you have a heavy load. Anyways, we'll take out of this pile first. So the nice thing about this loader, it has a high reach capacity, um, can handle um, larger bucket, larger weight. It has the, the way Giants does their loaders, it has that leveling feature. When you have it scripted, it moves both joints, which is nice. Uh, so no beacon on this payloader right now. I might, um, the bucket seems to, uh, be pretty picky with how much it loads um, so I might actually improve the pickup um, the sounds I'm using are from the JCB loader I feel like that had the act actually the best sounds out of all the lo in-game loaders um, it has a nice turbo sound to it, and it has a decent backup alarm that you would expect on a John Deere loader. Um, this thing um, is to scale within, I believe it's, it was in, it's about six inches shorter than what's spec. It has about two inches larger ground clearance than what's actually uh, specified. And so it's like 11 feet, six inches tall. It has like 18 or 16 inches of ground clearance. So it's pretty close to being uh, ideal specifications. That's the nice thing about working in Blender is you can measure all of your dimensions. The hardest part about John Deere is there's no real good reference for the construction yellow and then this dark gray black color so I was just kind of experimenting you can see on the decals the decals a little bit darker than the paint which it's supposed to be like that but when you go to pull a hex code from a picture or something like that it's difficult Right now, uh, this is just a plain Jane in game. It doesn't have any IC functions. None of the doors or or windows are separated. Um, I don't have the cylinders hooked up or anything like that. It's just uh, kind of a quick in game to see how it works and what needs to be improved. No hydraulic hoses are scripted on it yet. I know people are asking for a video, video of this when I was posting pictures last night.
Anyways, we'll go on spread. Some manure. Or this corn stubble. So we have to unfold this. Turn this guy on. I'm not sure how far we'll be able to go with this. Kind of hard to see where exactly we're going with all this corn residue. Don't really have a good view into the spreader either to see what your capacity is. On these in-game challengers, I have to say I'm not not the biggest fan of. It's been a while since I played this game, and I downloaded some some of the mods off of mod uh, the Giants uh, website. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of changes to like the interface and mods in general. The thing about manure is it doesn't go very far can't really cover that much ground until you're empty, which is fine. Might switch directions to go the long way without coming up here. Originally, I was starting out with the 724, um, but the 744 has a larger frame on it. It's a little bit heavier, uh, more horsepower. So ultimately, that's what I ended up doing. Uh, 724 would be nice, but it's significantly lighter, and I wanted something bigger than the in-game loaders to handle the lumber a little bit easier when you're loading the trucks or a train. That was the main idea behind it, um, changing it from the 724 to the 744. Initially when I started the project, uh, I didn't really have much of a use for it, uh, so that's kind of why it was put on the back burner. But then when I started logging again and the ink, the new home loader, they're all about the same size. They're just a little too small uh, for productive logging operations, so that's ultimately why I went ahead and started that project up again. So that has a long ways to go to being finished. A lot of detailing work, um, a lot of texture work, but at least the core scripting is finished. Those Z-Bar wheel loaders are always kind of funny to uh, to script. You never really know how it's going to 
turn out because it's so different than anything else. The moving parts, that is, how you animate and make sure everything looks good and everything has its min and max rotations, which I still don't really understand, so it's more of a trial and error kind of deal. Anyways, once we get this field covered in poo, we'll probably get a ripper going to finish up ripping this. right up in front of us. I like the elevation changes. So we'll just wrap up the end of this Headland here. I think these are actually two different fields that I'm spreading around. Again, I don't think we'll have a, enough manure to actually finish this field. You know, even though this loader is pretty massive, it looks doesn't look that big compared to this large spreader. So this isn't a very large bucket. Uh, they make, they definitely make larger buckets for it. This is more of a kind of a rock, or I guess a kind of universal construction bucket. You could definitely get a higher capacity bucket on this thing.
I think this thing can handle up to like six cubic yards or something like that. I forget what the specs are, but it can it can uh, handle a really large bucket pretty easily. Anyways guys, um, you can see it's a little dark in here. That is the new John Deere loader I've been working on and uh, works pretty well, especially if you're moving a lot of material. Um, I actually don't even, okay so this thing holds Basically, basically, almost 32,000 liters of manure. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.